beautiful, sweet friends, family, and souls of this earth. How are you today? So yeah, I just talked to my friend Macek, who's a vegan bodybuilder, powerlifter, like very strong guy. And he's been vegan for five years, and I was just trying to explain to him some things about raw, because he's extremely knowledgeable about loads of things, but he hasn't really delved deep into the whole raw food scene and fruit-based, like, simple, simple diet yet, you know, like the fruitarian fruit-based diet and what to expect and like what like what the effects are and underneath this video i'm going to share some of my favorite raw food educators and some incredible videos to learn for learn from should i say because there's nothing wrong with many things in life in, in a way you can say there's nothing wrong with anything but like from a spiritual point of view but from a health point of view there's nothing wrong with like eating this or doing that or eating that and from a health perspective, there's nothing wrong with like going to bed late or really late. There's nothing wrong with not getting enough sleep and like setting the alarm clock every day really early. There's nothing wrong with like doing a job that you don't like or that isn't you're like being more interested in or excited about a passion, purpose or service in the world. There's nothing um, there's nothing wrong about cooked foods either. There's nothing wrong about processed cooked foods. There's nothing wrong about um, like, like, you know, like, 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 like spilling her, I was going to say, like, you know, no fat, fapping, masturbating and spilling her beans as a man or the clitoris as a woman, like that can be tiring and make a lot of women and men feel not the best, especially for the men, but even for women too, it depends on your health. So what I want to say to you and what I was saying to him is a lot of this depends on your health. Like, is your health good and vibrant and strong and powerful and energetic? Are you fit, healthy and wise? <laughs> Or are you more like contaminated, heavy metal contamination, fluoride, and like mercury, lead, aluminium, copper? Do you have many mercury fillings? Do you have leaky gut syndrome or like do you have like um, irritable bowel syndrome? Do you have uh, many vaccinations? Um, did you grow up on a processed food diet or a lot of cooked aisles or processed food or stuff like McDonald's or store-bought food? foods? Was it mostly homegrown or homemade or was it like processed and bought? Like was it like typical cooked ter terrible for our health typical stereotypical like the standard european standard american omnivorous diet stuff like with crackers bread pasta meat dairy eggs cheese ice cream milk and all sorts of nonsense that just like wreck us so what i was saying to my friend which is an interesting point because a lot of you probably haven't heard this if someone's like super strong vital powerful and energetic they're not the gauge of, you don't test them for what's healthy or unhealthy because they have like a big shield. It's called your jing. And in Eastern terminology, it's, yeah, it's called your jing, okay? It's like, I like to call it your force field. It's also called your battery or your reserve energy. It's also called your adaptive energy. It's also called your sexual and creative energy. So fapping and masturbating spirit beings waste is probably the most that I know of. It makes you unmotivated, lowers dopamine and testosterone levels after the spike and the rush. It's a bit like taking a drug like of like, some, some drugs like heroin or cocaine or ecstasy like there's a big high exhilaration cooked food can be very like a bit like a high exhilaration too you get all like at least it depends on everybody but i have personal experiences and, and i see other people experiencing too like it depends if you know better you don't know about, about the effects of cooked food and raw food or you have experience in it you might like chase and get excited thinking about, thinking about the food going to the restaurant going out to get it oh yeah 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 you feel really good and then if, then the like, slam it affects your system because digestion is the biggest and elimination but digestion first is the, is the biggest um, energy usage in our body like it's massive like you could do exercise and not feel tired but you could eat a meal and feel really exhausted or even sick and then bloated or like pains <laughs> bless humanity my friends i've witnessed this not so much to myself but partly in myself everything except for the, the the pains and the bloating like i've had everything i just said actually but i i especially know what people experience are typically from having cooked foods cooked food is not optimal my friends like yeah there's nothing wrong with it it's not bad or immoral but just just to be clear on what's optimal going to bed early and um, sexual emissions in in certain quantities like don't do it all the time every day type of thing it depends on your health there's even an equation depending on your age for how much you should be ejaculating as a man um so the more jing vitality vibrancy power force sexual energy you have the more you can spend it right the more money you have the more you can spend it but if you're on like tippy toppy tippy top rock bottom of health or jing you don't want to be spending you want to be keeping it and trying to build it and that's the way i was in my early 20s because I, I used it all by having way too much sex and ejaculation my first girlfriend and by doing like colossal amount of overtraining for a period of like six months to a year which is like totally spent myself then i did the ejaculation thing my first girlfriend and i had two surgeries to general like just all that wiping out <laughs>
it's, it's great to be able to laugh at it now because I rebuilt my health on my gene and I follow natural principles more and I have more balance in my life. But getting back to what I was saying, if you want to like test um, what's good or bad for someone, um, you, you, you test somebody like who's sensitive to something. Like So for example, you test somebody like a child, not that I want to test somebody, but you test some, like a, an adult who's like not the best of health. Like, so they have a whole lot of allergies and like all sort of stuff, skin problems like brain, liver, like a whole lot of like non-optimal health. So then you give them some like some certain cooked foods and they'll probably respond terribly to it. Give somebody who's like super powerful, super healthy and fit, they probably won't respond. So they're not a good test person. So you test or else you, you test like other people to observe and to pay witness to is like children, baby. Like often why people get ba- baby get like red rashes and crying and all. It's because they're getting like basically poisoned with a whole like really irritated that like cooked omnivorous stuff like cooked milk and all this sort of stuff my friends like th- th- it's very important to have accurate knowledge like this earth didn't does, doesn't have the deep state are like not at, out for our bad they're not out for our good so they tell a billion lies to deceive us trick us distract us and make us feel weak weak sick and unhealthy and disempowered so we so they can they keep controlling us so that's why they poison our water poison our food with herbicides insecticides um, and pes- pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fluorine in the water, like aluminium everywhere. There's just like they spray the skies with aluminium. They, the land is contaminated with all sorts of stuff. Like then they give you injections. Like yeah, doesn't matter. I won't even get into that. So getting back to the food thing. Um, so someone who's already sick or someone who's like really clean and healthy. So you give, let's say, a person been eating raw food for a year or two years or three years or five or ten or twenty or thirty years. If you give them like a meal of cooked vegan food, even if it's whole food, but let's say it has like cooked oils which isn't whole, then it has like maybe flour, pasta, grains, like things that aren't optimal for the body. Like if, I've I've already heard stories of people doing this, and I've ex- experienced it myself. It's like when you have when you keep smoking every day for twenty years. Like we most of the cooked food for twenty years, right? It's a drug. In my opinion, it's the biggest drug in the world by without a shadow of a doubt by a long shot. It's the most. Everyone does it. How many raw food days have you done? <laughs> so anyway, um, just having fun here. Um, yeah, someone's been smoking for like, let's say, many years. They, they stop smoking for like, let's say, a month. They try have another cigarette. Their bodies become more sensitive and accurate sensing device. They start coughing, spluttering, they feel terrible. And then they say, oh my goodness, how did I feel normal smoking for so long? Because the body adapts and becomes desensitized. But that's like a bad thing. You don't want that. Like... If you be, people get desensitized and adapt to having like arsenic that can usually kill you and people, humans being measured to have as much arsenic in a human body that would kill a horse and that's because like cooked food or like smoking they have a little bit at a time they don't just have like a billion cigarettes in one day or you don't eat like 50 meals in one day or you don't drink like 10 liters of alcohol in one day your body gets accustomized to my friends it adapts so, but but that's not doesn't mean it's now healthy. It's it's not. It's as terrible as ever. Right? But it just maybe won't kill you straight away if, you know, because that's that's the way it works. Like you don't want to die straight away. But yeah, people have enough arsenic in their body to kill like a horse. After the man was in the hospital and his wife was trying to kill them, kept bringing in their arsenic laden poison food. <laughs> so yeah so 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 i've seen sick people in my life or even me when we're weak or sick or tired or depleted or low gene and you have things that are non-optimal you can't get away with it as much like we're good sensors then to tell you the truth so what's real and natural every single other species on earth eats a raw food diet but listen this isn't all just about food like if you're really healthy go and have fun with your cooked food go ahead it's fantastic even i do and then it has bad effects sometimes no big deal i'm not pretending to be perfect i'm not a perfect i'm still sort of a hooked attached or addicted to cooked food sometimes here and there it depends. It's no big deal. Like, I want to get off the topic of the, the food now. But yeah, the best food is definitely like raw food. It's definitely simple food, like all of the other trillions of species, of raw foodists. Just because we can do something like cook doesn't mean it's good for us. Just because we can jump, jump off buildings or do bungee jumping or do deep sea scuba diving or do fast racing with motorbikes just because we can do something doesn't mean it's good for us by any stretch of the imagination my friends does it (laughs) and the whole thing about cooking tomatoes to get more nutrients that's also false premises it's a lie like just because we get more yeah we get resveratrol in wine that doesn't mean wine is optimal yeah alcohols kill your brain cells and like damage your liver so like let me see. I'll come back here just to give them. So yeah, just because we can, yeah, cooking like we don't necessarily need more lycopene, you know. 
you can get a lycopene from like tomatoes, from watermelons, from like strawberries, from red pigmented things. Ah, so that's such an interesting video topic this is. All the like the little like screw up lies, like and it's fun to uncover, discover, all the sort of stuff. It's great. Yeah, so basically speaking, testimonies from people who switched to a raw from a vegan diet, cooked vegan diet, or just from an omnivorous diet to a vegan diet, then from a vegan diet to a raw food diet. Like basically the raw food is like they smash records. They come number one in competitions. They generally, yeah, they just like rock. Like they just win races out of hundreds if not thousands of people. Like they do brilliant. Like from powerlifting to ultra distance running, like 100 mile running, 10K running, 5K running. Like just so many things. The fa you fast recovery, better mood. More. I have. I have more... Fat everyone, me too. Like, but me especially more on the spiritual side of things. So, like, it's basically your fuel source becomes improved. Whatever you use your fuel for becomes improved. So, I use my like, attention. You spend energy what you put attention on. And I put attention on my craft. Spirituality is my main thing. Obviously, I do like exercise too, but my main passion is like spirituality. So, self awareness becomes improved for me. Wisdom, awareness, clarity of thought. My heart center improves. Like better forgiveness, better compassion, better like listening, better mood, better chirpfulness, better chirpiness, better. I'm more likely to whistle, hum, skip, dance, sing. Things that like a natural expressions of joy and feeling good, awesome and light. Fast recovery from exercise, more energy in the evenings, wanting to exercise more at any time of the day, including the evenings where I usually might be tired from wasting all the energy, my energy and digestion, like too much energy, not all of it. Fapping is a really big thing. Like I just don't, yeah, you have, I have to be careful. Like everyone has to be careful too much ejaculation or too much maybe clitoral orgasms. Like just listen, just listen to our bodies, you know, it's part of the spiritual journey to listen to our bodies and see what the truth of the effects of things we take are. Um, yeah, it's like it's really cool. Like, but yeah, people just become like first in triathlons. Ted Carr and Osborne winning a massive like race of thousands of people. Ted Carr won like dozens of triathlons, first, second, and third, especially first. And um, he's gone back to eating a bit of cooked vegan food because just for the fun of it, he was raw food for ten years. And he's a young guy, and he just like wanted. He's got good health now. Like he cleared up his acne within like a month or two. He had terrible acne all over his body. Switched to a raw food, simple fruit based diet. Leaves fixed the main outbreak you know like he did enough clearing that it wasn't forced out of his skin anymore but he still had massive internal cleaning to do and he did that so yeah it's all good like don't know what else to say really but have a beautiful day okay it's just, I'll just end this video now because like there's too much I could talk about I could talk about forever with this I've been studying this for a long time but yeah my favourite my favorite educators just tend to be like Lauren Lockman is number one he's just like just abundantly knowledgeable Eli Martyr this is just sensational as well. Like I really recommend him. And then other people who I'd also recommend would be Dan McDonald. Um Dr. Morse is very good for people with proper medical conditions. Like the raw food diet will help all of you, but he just gets into a little bit more of basically just detoxification is just the way to do it. And you do that by eating a natural diet and you just feel your best. So it's simple. Just align with nature. That's the that's the sentence right there. Align with nature. And that means also going to bed in accordance with the sun, being barefoot more often or touching the earth. It means exercising because that's natural. It means breathing deep in your belly because that's natural. Do that. Moving your body, stretching, um, getting up fairly early according to the sun too, um, eating natural food as I said, obviously. Getting the sun, sunbathing and sun gazing. Getting the water therapy, all of those, not being out in nature, healing energy, all of that stuff, simple as that. Drinking water, hydrating yourself. If you do anything of those things, which and, and it's not, it's, and then you don't do, which is natural, you're just going to accumulate unhealth points. And when there's such an accumulation, sickness shows, but it's been a gradual buildup. So yeah, it's very simple to me. It makes sense, but it takes time to discover and learn all this. And I hope this video helps. Watch it again and do share it with your friends and family if you feel like. If, would you like them to learn um, this sort of stuff? Would you like to share? Go ahead and do it if you want, okay? It's your choice. You've got free will. <laughs> I'm not going to come out to give out to you or wrestle you to the ground in a leg lock if you don't share my video. But you never know, I might. <laughs> Have a nice day, my friends. And definitely make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. Otherwise, corrupt Google and YouTube won't make you see my future upload of uh, notifications. And I'd love to share more with you in the future. And if you like the style of my videos, definitely feel welcome to subscribe. So for all new subscribers, thank you for joining me all like new people and then everyone else is not subscribe you're welcome and have a beautiful day 
see you again another time lots of love to you and friends and yeah for for one-to-one -one consultations holistic consultations on body mind spirit from personal healing and um, from grief anxiety stress like just relationship issues like health issues like physical mental emotional spiritual and relationship coaching too and um, yeah please just like private message me i'd love to work with anyone and you if you're enthusiastic eager or excited and would love, love to work with me as well i'd absolutely adore to and other than that um yeah there's 10 percent off my herb store my herb superfood and enzyme store off myself and my family store and um, it's down below it's called higherselfherbs.com and you get 10 percent off using the code one love one family so take avail of that and if you need any help or questions there's also um just just message me you can also message on the front page too okay and i'd love to help and other than that i look forward to seeing you again in the next video